All right, guys. So th this is garbage news. Okay, it, it, it's garbage. I know it is. It is pop culture, but I, I couldn't help but do it because this story right here just exemplifies how much our culture and society has just tanked. Okay, <laughs> right. The things that we value, the people that we reward in this society, it, it, up is down and down is up. Right. We we live in cuckoo for cocoa puff, la la world because. The Catch Me Outside girl, aka uh, Danielle uh, Brogelli, aka Bad Baby, that's her rap name. Um, again, if you guys remember, the girl that appeared on Dr. Phil, the little disrespectful girl on Dr. Phil, okay? After that, she basically had a rap career that was not great, okay? She made some very mediocre garbage music. And in order to uh, keep bringing in income, okay, because that dr phil money had apparently uh dried up she had a, a little controversy in which she tried to expose dr phil right that was just a few weeks ago and now for her 18th birthday she announced that she was going to do an only fans okay for her 18th birthday 18 years old so she announced that in six hours of her only fans being launched she has made one million thirty thousand seven hundred and three dollars and forty three cents over a million dollars in six hours of launching her only fan that's more than people make in a lifetime and i think the worst part about it is that she has seven hundred and fifty seven thousand five hundred and twenty six dollars and eight cents in subscriptions this is reoccurring revenue that she's gonna get i don't know every month or you know however long she set up her subscriptions for i don't know i haven't checked it out i haven't seen it that's not my cup of tea this is crazy to me this is absolutely crazy and i don't blame her right i don't blame her because it, it, it almost seemed like this was just something that considering her career trajectory and what she was doing and, you know, how much media attention she got. I I'm just not surprised. OK, I'm not surprised. This was an easy money grab for her. I ain't going to knock nobody for getting their paper. Hey, if you're doing it legally, it's fair game. It is what it is. I'm a capitalist. What I'm really disappointed about is just how many simps <laughs> that we have in this society, because the only way that somebody like the cash me outside girl can make this much money so quickly from an only fans is if we have a society of male simps of desperate men who for, who will pay for whatever type of content she's putting out right now obviously you guys know only fans there's a variety of content right? i'm not trying to really go there is youtube trying to keep it family friendly i'm just saying there's a variety of type of content, okay? There's a lot of different stuff. And again, like I said, anybody who would pay for this, I got some questions. I got some questions for you. It's just beyond me that there's so many people that would pay for this. What also is beyond me is that how many people were probably waiting for this. That's the saddest part. Because to, to make a million dollars in six hours, you had to have a line, a line of people most likely men waiting for something like this again the girl just turned 18 she just turned 18 just turned 18 and she made a million dollars in six hours doing this <laughs> and people want to talk about the gender wage gap if i started on only fans i don't think i'm making a million dollars in six hours and there's a lot of people, mainly women, that are making a ton of money on OnlyFans. But again, a lot of people want to talk about, oh man, how an unfair society is. In my opinion, this is unfair. Because a lot of people just making money that don't have any talent at all. That's, you know, they just making money to look pretty. And, and I understand those of you who feel like, well, you know, most people that's complaining about gender wage gap are complaining about you know not making as much as you know men do uh for the same occupation i get it but you, 
I mean, hey, you can't tell me that doesn't exist in this type of industry. You can't tell me that don't exist. You can't tell me a gender wage gap in which women make a lot more than men exists in this industry. I ain't going to sit here and complain, but I'm just saying, right? There are definitely certain areas and industries that women tend to have a lot of more advantage in from than men in terms of making money. But this is not what this video is about, right? I, I just, it to me, it's just crazy how you can preach hard work to the younger generation and, you know, making sacrifices and, you know, doing what you got to do, saving pennies, you know, to potentially become a millionaire one day or to make a lot of money. And then you got people like this who are making money just for being famous for no reason, right? For, for basically disrespecting her mother, disrespecting Dr. Phil, and she's making millions. And our society rewards this type of degenerate behavior. Seriously. What did she do to deserve this type of money, right? In such a short period of time. What did she do to deserve this type of recognition and fame? She literally has made millions doing exactly what we teach our daughters and young girls not to do. How to not behave. But yet she's been rewarded for behaving that way. And when young women and girls see that, oh, I can make, you know, X amount of money, more money than they could make working a nine to five, doing something like this. What type of example does that set? Why in the world would any young girl want to grow up and be, you know, a scientist or engineer or an investment banker or a lawyer or a doctor, you know, or even like a social worker, a teacher, whatever? Why do they want to do any of that when they can just get on OnlyFans and make millions of dollars? Potentially, obviously, you know, she's a special case. But again, it's just the example. It's the example. And I'm not knocking anybody for doing it, right? Hey, hey, if you want to make money, make money. I get it. As long as it's legal, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hardcore capitalist when it comes to this stuff. You know, this is this is a new industry just like there's a bunch of other new industries. I get it. Again, I'm my mind is just blown. Because, again, th this type of stuff I think has an effect on kids. I think it has an effect on young women. I think it has an effect on how they see themselves, right? Their standards of beauty, right? The type of content that they're pressured to put out there to get this type of attention. Right? And I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of grown men. Very grown, older men. Who are giving this, this girl that just turned 18 this type of attention. And they're the ones that are feeding into this. And this is just another example of why you need a strong nuclear family. A strong father right, who can set the example for what a lot of these young girls should be looking for when it comes to men and a strong mother that can teach a lot of these young girls, you know, how they should act and how they should carry themselves and how to value themselves as women, okay? Hey, and I'm not knocking her hustle, right? Don't get me wrong. <laughs> she can make her paper, make the paper, okay? You know, she's 18. She's obviously very entrepreneurial, right? <laughs> she at least smart enough to make this type of money so she obviously got a head on her shoulders to take advantage of it but you know again i'm just concerned about the precedent that this sets and the example that this sets for um younger more impressionable minds in terms of you know who is rewarded in society for what they do right so anyways let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace